Hello everyone, my name is Simon and I am an accounting integration expert here at House. Today I will be going over the integration between House Pro and QuickBooks Online. The goal of the integration is to alleviate any double entry, save time, and make sure your House Pro and QuickBooks are aligned. So let's get started. This is my demo account for Build. First, I'm going to go into Go to House Pro. Once in here, you want to go into the top right hand corner and go into House Pro settings. Then I'm going to go into integrations. This is where you will set up your connection between House Pro and QuickBooks Online. But before we connect, here are some important settings that you want to adjust before you connect. The first one is set up your tax agency in QuickBooks. You also have a Help Center article available for you that walks you through step-by-step -step on how to set up your sales tax agency. You can then click into Set Up Tax Agency and if you have your QuickBooks open on a separate tab, by clicking into it, it's going to take you to your tax center in QuickBooks. Here, you want to set up your sales tax agency if you haven't already and you want to base your agency based on your location. The second setting is to turn off automations. I'm going to come down to automations and make sure all of your four automation settings are turned off and go ahead and save. The third setting is to turn on purchase orders in QuickBooks. Currently, purchase orders do not sync from HousePro Build Core to QuickBooks Online, but if you wish to have purchase orders sync in the future, I would recommend turning this on. You can turn this on over here and go ahead and save. Once you're done with the checklist, go ahead and click Connect. Connect to QuickBooks. And from your dropdown, select your company. Hit Next. And you have successfully connected. Once connected, the next thing you want to do is go into Settings. This is where you can set up your mapping between House Pro and QuickBooks. Let's start with your deposit account. Your deposit account is the account in QuickBooks that payment recorded in HousePro will flow into. Once HousePro connects with QuickBooks, it creates default accounts in your chart of accounts. As you can see, your deposit account is mapped to a default, which is a HousePro payable bank account. If you wish, you can rename this in your chart of accounts in QuickBooks to your checking account. Or if you have already created a checking account in your chart of accounts, you can map it to that as well. So all you would do is click the drop down and map it to the checking account you created. I have created one, so I'm going to map it to that. The next is mapping your income from material and labor. Similarly, you have a default income account, which is HousePro product, and a default service income account, which is HousePro services. You can leave it to default, or if you already have created an income account, you can map it to that. I have created a specific income account for my product sales, and this is the income account I want to map it to. And I am going to leave my income from labor to HousePro services. As you can see, now your account has been successfully updated. If you're connecting your House Pro to QuickBooks for the first time, you will have an option to sync your historic data from House to QuickBooks. You will only be able to sync documents from October 7, 2020. You can go into Status and you will see the option to sync historic data. Status also gives an update of last synced and shows if a document has not synced over. It gives you the error that caused it not to sync and also gives you an option to resync. Now let's go into projects to take a look at what syncs over and how it looks in QuickBooks. It is important to note that the sync is one way, which means that documents will sync from House Pro to QuickBooks and not the other way around. Now let's take a look at the project Malibu Guesthouse Construction for the client Brad Pitt. The project will sync over as a customer in QuickBooks with the client name and not the project name. To trigger this sync for the project, 
you need to create a document under the project. Once the document syncs over, it will create that customer. Now let's take a look at estimates. Estimates will only sync over to QuickBooks once approved. If it's in draft mode, you will not find that estimate in QuickBooks, and this is only because you want the final and approved document in your QuickBooks. Now let's take a look at estimate 10018. You will see that estimates synced will have the same document number as House Pro. So let's go into QuickBooks and search for 10018. As you can see, the estimate has synced over and it's under the customer name Brad Pitt, which is the client name in House Pro. Now let's take a look at invoices. Invoices will sync over to QuickBooks once it's exported or sent to a client. Invoice 1011 has been sent, so we can take a look at this in QuickBooks. So let's go into QuickBooks and search for 1011. As you can see, the invoice has synced over to QuickBooks with the customer name Brad Pitt. Now let's take a look at payments. Log payments sync over when recorded against sync document and online payments will sync over automatically. Let's go ahead and log a payment against this invoice. Now that the payment has been logged, we can go into QuickBooks and as you can see that one payment has synced over against the invoice and it also transferred over the reference number. This, so basically the documents that sync over from House Pro to QuickBooks are estimates, invoices and payments. Now let's go into QuickBooks and take a look at bank feed. If you are utilizing the bank feed feature in QuickBooks, where real transaction from your bank is being downloaded into QuickBooks, you want to be careful and match the transactions and not add it. As your house pro is connected and payments are being pushed over into your QuickBooks, if you were to add the transaction from the bank feed, it will create a duplicate in the system. So you want to always match your received payment in your bank to a payment from that has synced from House Pro. Here is an example of a deposit, a house transfer that came over for $18,954.79. As you can see, there's a record found, and this is a payment that came in from House Pro. You can go ahead and match it by hitting confirm. Now you have matched the bank transaction to a payment that synced from House Pro. Here is an, another example, and as you can see, there is no match for this payment. This usually happens if it's a lump sum payment that got deposited in your bank, and this lump sum is made up of multiple payments. Click anywhere and hit Find Match. So these are the two payments that make up this lump sum. Go ahead and click into the checkbox, and now you have matched it. Go ahead and hit save. Any expenses that do not pertain to your house pro and currently purchase orders do not sync from house pro to QuickBooks. So even any of your cost of goods sold, you can categorize and add it. And any expenses that do not pertain to your house pro like payroll or any overhead expenses, you can just categorize and add it into your QuickBooks. You basically just need to be careful about transactions that you know are coming from House Pro into QuickBooks. You want to make sure you're matching those transactions and not adding it. The biggest rule of thumb with the House Pro integration is to make sure that any changes you want to make to the documents, if you need to delete a logged payment, you want to do all of that in House Pro and that change will update automatically in your QuickBooks. You want to refrain from making these changes directly in QuickBooks as this will not sync back to House Pro. You also want to avoid making anything inactive in QuickBooks. You don't want to make your accounts inactive or deactivate a synced customer. 
as this can cause huge syncing issues. Please feel free to reach out to us if you or your accountant have any additional questions regarding the integration or require any additional support. We are happy to help. Thank you.